On the campaign trail, we're sitting down with candidates seeking both governor's office and U.S. Senate. We're continuing our one on one profiles of the candidates running for governor. And tonight, Brian Abel shares his one on one with Libertarian candidate John Tater. We asked Libertarian candidate for Governor John Tater his vision for Michigan if he were to lead the state. A total of seven questions that each candidate was also asked. John Tater is a retired educator and military man. I taught home construction. I taught kids how to build houses. I'm a retired lieutenant colonel from the UN United States Army Reserve. The Libertarian service shapes his views on gun laws in the Mitten State. And I believe that uh, kids need to be trained in an early age as to what a particular gun is, how it works, what, what's its function. If they learn that in the, in the early stages, it wouldn't be such a scary thing to them. You know that most of the shootings that take place take place in gun-free zones. Uh, they don't go into a situation where there are uh, people that might be armed and that might shoot back at them. So that could eliminate all of the all of the issues of shootings if people were armed in the crowd. When it comes to weed, Tater supports decriminalizing it. And as a trades teacher, Tater says Common Core is not the best choice to teach young Michiganders. There were students that uh, that were sent to me to the my home, my home construction program because they couldn't stand working with a pencil. I gave them a hammer instead of a pencil. I gave them a blueprint and said, hey, we're going to build that house. This is what it's going to look like, and here's the plans to do it. All of a sudden, they learned to read. They learned to do math. After two failed runs for the U.S. House, Tater believes his party, on the primary ballot for the very first time in the state, now has enough momentum to take him to Lansing. People are tired of the two-party system. And so I think if any time we've had an opportunity to get involved, this is, this is the year. We also asked about Tater's plans for fixing our state's infrastructure for that. And the answers to all seven questions go to our website, WXYZ.com. Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you. And every day at 5, we'll highlight another candidate running. And if you missed any, we'll post each one on our website, WXYZ.com. Now, tomorrow at 6.